My name is Sarah Nolan. I'm a, a sustainable development student here at Utrecht University in the track of Earth System Governance. I am from Ireland originally, but I've lived in the Netherlands now for, this is my fourth year, surprisingly. Time is going by so fast. Um, I originally came to Utrecht for my Erasmus from 2018 to 2019. And I fell in love with the city, with the university, and also found the Sustainable Development Master, which uh, fit exactly to what I wanted to do. So I decided to come back and start my master here in 2020. Um, and yeah, so the rest is history. I'm loving my life here, involved a lot with sustainable initiatives around the city. Um, and yeah, really, really happy with how things have turned out here so far. So back on my Erasmus year, I heard about Local to Local because I used to buy Gruntetas veggies every week. And Gruntetas is an um, initiative in Utrecht University which sells local and seasonal vegetables on campus. I used to get my bag every week back during my Erasmus year, so I heard about Local to Local back then. Um, and then for, as a part of my studies, I had to do a research paper looking into a governance practice, uh, pick an initiative and to study them. So I decided to write about Local to Local. And coincidentally, I came across Grounded for the first time. So uh, the first time that I went to Grounded, I spoke to, to Martin, who told me he worked for Local to Local. I realised that it would be perfect for me to interview him for my paper and conducted the interview with him. And yeah, one thing led to another and, and I got involved. So once I wrote that paper, um, I was really inspired by the work of Local to Local. I um, really connected with what they do and I could see the impact that they had made and, and all of the hard work that had paid off. So um, at Grounded Festival in 2021, I recognized Mark Fredericks from the research that I had conducted. So I decided in that moment that I would walk up to him and introduce myself <laughs> and say that I uh, yeah, appreciated his work, appreciated his company, tell him that I wrote the paper about uh, Local to Local. Yes, so then I decided that I would write my thesis under the supervision of Local to Local. I started to look more into the work that they do in more detail, looking at the strategies and the impact that they've had and how they connect with stakeholders around Utrecht and around the Netherlands. Um, I started to feel really inspired and I decided then that I would apply to be the chairperson of Gruntetas from 2021 to 2022, for, so for this past academic year. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, I had heard of Gruntetas before when I was on my exchange year, but then through the inspiration that I got from local to local of actually seeing how I could directly become involved and become involved in this bigger picture of change that was happening, I decided that I would apply and be chair. So I was the chairperson of Gruntetas for a year last year. Um, which was a really, really fascinating experience because it gave me first-hand experience of the reality of short food supply chains and also tangible experience of everything that Local to Local has done and the logistical and organisational and structural difficulties that you come across being any institution that works against the, the commercial chain. Um, so that was really, really cool and really fascinating and also gave me tangible experience for my thesis. So um, because of the inspiration that I got at Local to Local, I was able to, to really put that into practice in my year in Grunzatas. And I worked very closely with the team here to try and expand the organisation, try and deal with all the challenges that we were facing. Um, and I'm really, really happy with how it ended up in the end and, and what we managed to do in the difficult year post-COVID of trying to sell vegetables on campus. It's a very simple concept, but a very challenging to, to make happen in reality. Um, so I was doing the chair of Gruntetas for the year alongside preparation of my thesis, which I'm currently conducting at the moment. Um, the team here at Local to Local put me in touch with Demetrius Archipelagos in UCD in Dublin, University College Dublin. Um, who said that he would help me with my thesis in looking at short food supply chains in the Irish context in Dublin. Uh, specifically what I'm looking at is how can uh, governments help to collaborate actors in moving towards short food supply chains. So taking a lot of the lessons that were learned here in Utrecht by Ampton Local to Local and seeing how they could be applied in Dublin. Um, and yeah, that's keeping me very busy at the moment. I'm, I'm in the depths of it, but I hope to be finished in the next couple of months. <laughs> So during the time of writing my thesis, um, I heard that there had been an EU funded project secured called EU for Advice, which is a continuation of the Smart Chain project, which is basically a five year EU funded uh, project looking at short food supply chains across Europe. 
Um, coincidentally, I heard also that Utrecht and Dublin were two of the four hubs for this project, which is a, yeah, a, nice, a nice coincidence seeing as it fits exactly with my research. So I was really, really hoping when I heard about this project, I thought it was fate and that maybe my thesis might be considered and I felt so motivated to try and write a good thesis that maybe I could contribute to EU research. And in the meantime, because of the connections that were given to me uh, from local to local to Demetrius Archipelagos in UCD in Dublin, Demetrius reached out to me and asked me to be his research assistant for this project, which now means that for the next three years, I'm going to be working directly on an EU funded research project, which is just unbelievable. And I still can't wrap my head around the fact that that's happening. Um, it's kicking off now in a couple of weeks. So um, all of a sudden I'm being leveraged from writing my master thesis to actually really applying it on a very high EU funded level, um, which is just yeah, crazy and such an amazing opportunity and, and really shows how putting in work, getting your masters, making connections, putting yourself out there can lead to bigger and better things. And I feel so privileged to be stepping in at a moment when all of the hard work has been done to build this network and to get this uh, funding secured and get this research secured. Um, yeah, I just can't believe that it's all happening around the time that, that I'm falling into the mix. So I'm really, really grateful. Um, and yeah, it's going to be an amazing opportunity working on a EU project, connecting between Utrecht and Dublin, all across Europe, going to conferences, meeting people on the ground that are working on short food supply chains, trying to develop policy, trying to network, bring people together, really do what local to local have been doing for years on, a, on an EU wide level. So um, yeah, it's an incredible opportunity. I'm eternally grateful and I still can't believe that this has happened to me. So yeah, it's great. Okay, so my ultimate dream is to see a world where we are more connected to the things that we buy, the things that we eat and the systems that we support in doing so. Um, I really, really think that the fundamental issues of society are stemming from materialism, capitalism, overconsumption, overproduction. I think that we're so disconnected from, from the meaning of life and nature and the resources around us and the people around us. And that's why I really think that short food supply chains just address so many of those fundamental issues because it's so simple of eating what the what nature around you provides, connecting with the people that are working hard around you, keeping money in your local economy, supporting jobs around you instead of feeding into globalized systems which are just pushing inequality deeper and deeper in, in every single thing that we buy. And I think that it's, um, it's just so deeply embedded in society at the moment that we don't even see it and we don't even question it anymore. So I really, my dream would be to try and push past that and to try and simply reconnect people with the world around them and with what it means to be a human, what it means to be a part of nature. Um, yeah, the, the happiness and the joy that you can get from reconnecting with, with your own environment. And um, I know for me personally, it's, bring, it's brought me so much joy and uh, so much inspiration to see how you can directly support the people who are doing hard work around you. And um, I mean, farmers and food producers are at the center of, of everything that we do and, and we depend on them so much. And I think it's only fair that we support them as we should. So um, yeah, maybe it's a bit idealistic, but <laughs> that's what I see and that's what I hope for. And I think hopefully by changing EU policy to try and support farmers and to move back from globalized systems to more localized systems, that maybe this is a step in the right direction.